carry my friends morning folks or at least this morning here today was my second day off from work and I was supposed to be going out and turkey hunting this morning but uh, as you can see it is a wet mess here and the thing about it is is it's not going to be getting any better uh, until later it's pretty dark behind the house uh, we maybe probably can't see it on there but it's pretty dark behind the house but more storms are rolling in uh, we got to figure something else out today because the rain has uh, stopped the turkey hunting at least for now at least for today okay so obviously we're out here in my garage and I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys how I store my kayak here's the Ascend uh, D10 one that's kind of tucked up here in the corner and well not in our corner but kind of towards the ceiling and stuff and um unfortunately it doesn't have great lighting up there but I think that you can still see uh, I've got it to where it's well let's just plug in the light I got it to where it's got some of those like little pulley devices you've probably seen them let's go on the other side but we can see it better You've probably seen these dudes like all over Amazon and things of that nature, but they're just, uh, I think I bought like, well, you can't really see the end one. I think I bought these two for like 20 some bucks on Amazon and stuff, but anyways, it's pretty neat because it, I think it holds up to like a hundred and some pounds, but it allows me to uh, put my kayaks up to the ceiling. Of course, over here to the left of it, uh, we have my wife's uh, Ascend D10 also put up there uh, same same way. My I go better these guys, I mean, it just, it just does clear me. Now it's not easy feeling because it's got popped down, which is not going to, but if it didn't end up popping down or something like that, you can take about 50 pounds, 50, 55 pounds on your head. I don't think a lot of people know this about me, but uh, in part of my growth to getting more outdoorsy and not becoming such a city boy, we have built ourselves right out here on our one acre land, two chicken coops, and I think we have like 20 chickens. A lot of them are bantams. Some of them are ones I don't even know what you'd call them. <laughs> I don't know, there's so many different names. I didn't realize there were so many species of chickens, but anyway, so we got our nice chicken coops back here. We got some of these ugly dudes down here. Look at that little guy, we call him Cotton Ball. Obvious reasons. Big ones be picking on them. So we got several roosters. I know we're gonna have to get rid of a few. There's a couple right there, those gray ones. And um, some of these guys are funny looking. Can't find the ones the Mohawks right now, but uh, we've had them for several weeks. And um, no, they're not laying eggs yet, but uh, they will be soon. I think we're going to raise like these little guys, these short ones that you see called bantams. We're going to raise them, turn around, sell them. These bigger ones right here, that they're older ones, those are going to be our egg layers and provide us with a little bit of food. So I know these guys are waiting to be fed. Oh. There they go. I'm going to beat each other up trying to get to get a little bit in your hand. <laughs> This sucker will peck hard, boy. They're probably gonna eat a lot. I, mean, I literally have no experience raising chickens at all. Like I said, I'm a city boy, just trying to branch out a little bit and do some things, a little more um, self-sustaining type of things, hunting, fishing, taking get raised, maybe raise some chickens, things like that. I'm um, a little bit more outdoorsy, country-ish type of stuff. But uh, and, and so, of course, you know this this would be part of. It. Eggs, dudes. Check that out. Enough about chicken coops. So I know I got a couple people on my subscription, or that subscribed to me that uh, raise some chickens and things of that nature. So I did want to kind of share that uh, comment, thing that we have in common. But all right, guys. So now it's about time for me to run to Walmart. It seems like we do that about every other day. And um, I need a new barbecue grill uh, because the last one, the burner part was actually fell through halfway through, it had been rusted out and stuff. So I assume that it's about time for me to go ahead and pick up another one. Uh, but anyway, so we're gonna get to, get to Walmart and uh, go look at some, see if we can get a, a new barbecue grill and then uh, maybe pick up a few little hand tools for it because mine are janky and old and uh, and not worthy to be used anymore, especially not with a new grill. Now, albeit the grill I'm gonna get is the real small, uh, like 80 some dollar at Walmart. It's like the cheapest propane, propane grill you can get because I don't need like side burner stuff. No, it's not important to me. So I just want a regular grill. I can take my burgers outside, my chicken outside, cook it up uh, and call it good. So we're gonna head that way.
my wife's gonna be so proud of me. Got the barbecue grill finished and check this out. Ugh. I followed the instructions. Hey friends, we made it to a really nice spot out here called Montrose Lake. I'm actually gonna go out here and see if I have better luck fishing out here. Uh, this is the first time I've been, so it should be a great time. So I'm gonna get going. Okay, dude, so I made it out. And first thing I'm gonna try on my fishing is the old good old fashioned uh, spinner bait. This is a little guy. I don't know technical things, I don't know sizes, weights, and things of that nature, but I got a couple of sinker dudes on there help me cast further, so that's what I'm gonna try. Alright, guys, so I've casted out the spinner bait several times now and haven't even got a hit, so I want to switch it over to what I call a big old pain in the butt bait. That would be this guy. And the reason I call him Big Pain the Butt is because he hooks on everything, including himself. Got to put a fish in age 12. He's already got his hook on his own line. Well, so far no luck. He even switched to just a like a really common plain old jig not getting anything to bite getting hung up a couple times but I'm gonna try to go I've been hearing stuff splash on the top go around the on the edge and stuff so I'm gonna try this guy must be a little frog or something and uh, he's like a top water guy so we'll see how that works out but now I have a um, popper I think they call them I work on the top I mean I've been seeing the fish they're right up against the bank and it's flop, 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 flop. And there you'll see them come out and I mean, but they're like right on land and stuff. I can't really tell how big they are and stuff, but this is kind of one of my last uh, ditch efforts. I've been getting hung up so much uh, and almost lost a couple lures. Thankfully, I'm in a kayak and I can run over and get it out of there. But uh, uh, so I thought maybe I'd put something on top of the water, we wouldn't get so hung up. So we'll see how that goes. Look at all the trash over there, boy. Bottles and bottles, but. Unfortunately, folks, I think that's all there is. Uh, but crash. It's about to crash. I think that, um, you know, I don't know if it's my technique or bad timing or what, but uh, I'm not getting any, any bites at all. And, um, you know, I've thrown several times out and uh, several places I thought would work along where trees have fallen in or you know any, anywhere that would show a little bit of cover especially during the spawning season I'm trying to drop some you know some uh, soft plastics in there I've tried to drop some hard plastic I've dropped some, some spinner baits I've dropped some topwater jigs uh, some poppers um, I, d I don't know what you know what what maybe um, I could try different stuff and you know, I wish I could show my all my casts on camera. I just don't have the angle right now. All my camera's always forwards, and I don't have nothing to put behind me, or even at an angle, to show you what my cast is. Maybe some people can, you know, critique my technique of things. But uh, as it stands right now, I am going to go home empty-handed um, again. And uh, but you know, I'm trying to keep it positive and thinking that you can only get better. You can't possibly, you can't go home with less than zero. Unless you lost something along the way, so um, that's gonna be it. I appreciate you guys tagging along with me today. It's been it's been a fun day getting a lot of things done. It's gonna get out of my boat here.